Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Monkey Wrench. I'm Kelly, the monkey with the wrench. Today, we're gonna to be doing a really short video. I had a customer, obviously you've seen this machine in the last few videos, and they said that their deck belt keeps coming off. I said we have keeper issues, blah, blah, blah. You've seen this in the last video, so let me just show you. Okay, so simply put, this is the keeper that goes on the deck. And what this does, this is a, it's not an electric PTO, it's a lever PTO. So when you pull that lever, this gets pulled and it puts tension on the belt. And that's how it makes the blade spin. Well, when there's no tension on it, it loosens up and this whole thing is just kind of flopping around. And what happens is that while these things are still turning, after you shut off the blades, everything's still turning for a minute, the belt can actually just pop off. And then when you go to re-engage it later, you tighten it, nothing happens, and people go, oh, I broke my mower. These are very, very important. And in this case, I'll try and get you down there and show you what happens to these things. The one on the other side is completely missing, most likely for the same reason. And you can see what happens here. These things are just thin metal. And once they kind of break and vibrate, it'll break apart. Same thing happened on that side where it just came out. Now, most people, when they deal with machines, they think if they don't buy new parts and they don't replace it exactly the way it was, it'll never work. And they, oh, I have to look up my exact mower to find out what the part number is and get the exact thing. They don't think about fixing something. All this does is go over that pulley to keep the belt from flopping around and coming off. So, a quick fix. I thought about welding it back together. And frankly, I just didn't feel like pulling out the welder for that. So all I did was in the same approximate position as one of the bolts on one side and the middle one here is I just drilled new holes. This stuff is real easy to bend by hand you can bend it you can move it so all I'm going to do is put this back in place and the trick to this is you want it close to the pulley so the belt can't flop off but you don't want it to touch the pulley make sure your belt's on make sure everything's where it's supposed to be and if you drill a couple of new holes you can just put this thing back on. And you are good to go. And then all you want to do is test and make sure that you can kind of fit a pinky in there. So that it's in place. That's it. Let me see if I can get you closer. All I did was take a regular drill bit, drill a couple of new holes in it. And there you go. Bob's your aunt. Barbara's your uncle. It's on, it's in place. We're not buying a new one, they're about 30 bucks a piece, and it's just not necessary. So drill a couple of new holes, bend it out, there you go. Now on this side, this one's completely missing. So I gotta do something different. <coughs> Excuse me. So what I have here, and I, I have tons of spare parts, just like most of you guys probably do, this, goes under the seat in a riding mower they just clip down in place and it's where you put your battery these hold your battery up from falling through the hole that's all these things are and I have tons of these this is the same thickness of metal as the keeper on the other side you see how the belt just kind of goes wherever it wants to go when you go to re-engage it boom it'll come off so all I'm going to do this is not wide enough clearly what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to, it, it's a little bit taller than it needs to be. I'm going to take this and I'm going to straighten this piece out and I'm what I'm gonna do is make that just a little bit longer so that I can drill a hole in there. In fact, yeah, just a little bit longer because it's not quite wide enough. I'm gonna drill a hole in that after I flatten it out and I'm gonna cut this thing in half because what's gonna happen is I'm going to take this thing, I'm going to bolt it right through the existing bolt holes, and I'm going to bend that thing over, 
and it's going to act as the same keeper because we don't want to buy a new one for 35 bucks and I have these things laying around. So let me modify this real quick and I'll show you how it comes out. If you watch my channel, you know that I use these for lots of things. I modified one of these to hold on a plastic cowling cover on a snapper riding mower. So these things, you wouldn't think much of them, but keep them if you do lots of repairs. Saves lots of people lots of money. All right, now this is real simple. I'm gonna show you the before and after sort of thing. <coughs> these holes in these Troy belt decks and many other ones are pre-tapped. So pretty much pick one that your bolts will go in. This is what it looked like a minute ago for you guys. All I did was take a grinder with a cutting wheel, cut it in half. Then you can see the other end Remember I said it was too short, so all I did was flatten it out with a hammer, bend it so it was a little bit longer, and now I can take this, and I can put this right in place, and instead of spending 35 bucks, oh, is that hole big enough? Ah, the hole's not big enough. Oh, no. Let me drill that hole out a little bit. I didn't use a big enough drill bit. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and... Well, we'll just do one side for the moment. Okay, let's try this again. And that took about a minute and a half, maybe two minutes. My grinder's easy to get to. It's easy to cut through these things. It was easy to bend that, straighten it with a hammer, make it wider. And the whole thing about this is the same as the other side. All you're trying to do is keep that belt from coming off that's all so it doesn't have to be perfect it just has to be there so that when that belt wants to try and wobble off it kind of holds it in place so it just can't flop out I'm gonna do the same thing with this one I'm gonna go ahead and flatten that out widen the bottom drill the hole get it set and put it in place and then that's going to make sure that when this belt wants to wobble around that it just can't flop off of the stupid pulley that's all you're looking for instead of spending 35 bucks on a whole new keeper this stuff will hold it can move a little bit if it gets bent you can see i'm flicking on it like a guitar string and it's holding its shape exactly the way it's supposed to. Yet if a stick or something were to get jammed in there, which happens when you're, you're cutting the grass, especially in fall or after a storm, then it can move out of the way. It won't hurt anything. See what I mean? And then you can just push it back if you need to. And that's going to hold your belt from flopping off. And that's all we're looking for. So let me go ahead and do the other side. Pick a hole. I've got to find another bolt real quick. So I'll be back in five minutes. For you, it'll be right now. All right, well, that only took about three or four minutes, and the longest part of that was trying to find another bolt that would work. First, put your washer in place. <laughs> I work on small engines and outboards. The heck am I doing with a big washer that big? That's bigger than half the stuff I work on. That's almost as big as a whole pulley. Don't leave it there. So, I went ahead and modified the other side, and I'm just going to get the bolt started. Had to go through my coffee can O bolts. Just kind of bend it a little bit up so that it's not touching anything. And it's going to stop that belt from flopping off. That's the whole point. This stuff is easily bent by your hand. Good to go. Now my belt's not going to come off. I took off the one on the other side so that I could match it. Just throw that one back in place. You don't need to have or four bolts holding these things down um, 
this one originally had two that one on that side had two on one side and one on the other uh, that's wonderful from the manufacturer they need to change nut and bolt positions and screw positions to get new uh, patents every year it's really not necessary you don't need anything stronger than that now that's in place that's going to be up under the machine not even going to see it if you want you can spray a little bit of spray paint on there to keep from rusting but that takes care of our problem if you did not see the other video this hanger bracket had busted it, it completely cracked the steel and I could fit my finger in there so I beat that back down in place with a baby maul and we got that all welded up for him and I don't think the video is out yet but that's the machine that it's on that Craftsman T210 which we also changed the drive belt and put a new drive pulley on there because it was messed up so so thanks so much for watching thanks for subscribing astronomical growth we should hit 10,000 subscribers Eh, between Halloween and Thanksgiving which is amazing to me um, I do have memberships open and available where you get special members members only videos and we are going to be doing giveaways these are stitched this is not some kind of sticker or press on this is stitched and we're going to be doing members only giveaways they're going to get things like hats and other merchandise from the channel uh, as a thank you for being a member so if you haven't checked out memberships yet uh, it's five bucks a month but I'm dropping it to three bucks a month I'm not doing all that crazy stuff uh, you just get extra videos things that I do things about me special videos for projects you're working on anything I can do so thanks for supporting the channel make sure you don't skip ads on your favorite creators that's how we make a few bucks Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Hit the like button. It's somewhere between my chin and my balls, and I'll see you soon.